emergency. <laughs> Officer in need of assistance from animal control. Engine 3 unseen and in command. 1028. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Jerome was giving us a tour of the house and a couple of us got lost. That's when we found the dead body. Slow down, man. Who is this person that is no longer breathing? Her name is Elizabeth Peacock. Is or was? so kind as to letting me use one of your rooms to uh, question on the suspects. I think very helpful. Anything for you, detective. Everyone who was here when they found my when my found her is still in this house. I made sure. I made sure. Okay, um, Mr. Mustard, if you could please take me to the crime scene now. Detective thinks that I killed Vivian. Why would you think that? It's obvious it was Jonathan. He's the one with the anger issues. And besides, he's been in love with Elizabeth ever since. If we told Inspector Detective, he will never <laughs> believe us. There has to be proof somewhere in this house that it was Jonathan. The murder weapon, whatever it has, has to be in the house. No one has left since it happened. The officer thinks it was a knife. Do you know how many knives there are in the house? If we both look, it won't be that hard to find. I'm assuming it will still have blood on it. Just be safe. Okay, meet back here in five minutes. Detective, come here. I think there's a knife missing. Do you think it could be the murder weapon? Uh, here it is. Good job. I'll go to the car, grab my phone, and then I'll get someone to run this through evidence. Shambo, I found the murder weapon. It looks like a specialty knife. J&B knives. Can you look at him for me? Yes, sir. I'll let you know if I get any. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. It belongs to the manufacturer J&B owned by Jonathan Green and his brother Blake White. 
Thanks a lot. <gasps> you scared me. <laughs> detective, detective, come quickly. Seems to be the problem here. Vivian's missing. She's always going missing and running away. It's no surprise. How would you know? You just met her tonight. Yeah, and in that short time, she managed to go missing twice. There's a murder in this house. Are you guys not worried? Calm down, you two. Where did you last see Miss Scarlet? I think I saw her in the kitchen. All right, you two stay here. I'll go look. All right. His body's gone. I nearly killed the detective. In the next hour, he will be gone and you'll be safe. Idiot. Why would you kill the detective? I'm just trying to protect you. You're the one who killed Elizabeth. This is your mess. How dare you. I loved her. There was no way I would let her spend the rest of her life with the idiot she was with. So you did that instead of talking to her? Send in the seal, General. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to kill her, he came at me. I get it was, that. It was next. It wasn't your fault. You just need to come with me. Alright. You're coming with me back to the station. Miss Scarlett, you're alive. Yes, I don't know what happened. Jonathan locked me in a bedroom when I was in the kitchen. You knew too much. Don't worry, Miss Scarlett. You're safe now. You're all safe now. camera a little bit too much on the end when I went to go zoom it up a little bit and went straight to the Miss Scarlett, you're alive. Yes. I don't know my line. John, John you're too freaking tall. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Mustard. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs>